Hi Shopee. Alright, I'm Lita here. I would like to uh, stress on certain matters regarding this uh, issue which is raised. First of all, if you you have to read the chat on Sh Shopee application between me and the seller. Alright, so before buying, I inquired whether he will send a manual and a few other matters I inquired, right? You read through the uh, PDF file. Uh, it's clearly I asked whether they will provide manual and the gradient of the slope that it can move up and also uh, some other matters, right? Then, please read through my WhatsApp chat with the seller also, all right? In that WhatsApp chat, I was told that the battery will charge within four hours. All right. Okay. Now, um, to record four hours and more on a handphone, because I I don't have a, a video camera a video camera to shoot, I can use the, my handphone, and the capacity is not enough to record more than four hours of uh, just to record the charging of the battery so what i did was that i just take the shots uh, as i started it huh? all right after the number one when the item arrived now i've already uploaded the video on youtube and some of the youtube uh, no some of the videos i also uploaded at google drive all right so I try to upload into Google Drive as many videos as I can, but I don't think it can take all because my Google Drive is already almost full, almost 100%. So some of it will be uploaded into YouTube and some will be uploaded into Google Drive. All right. Now, uh, I took the unboxing video of the item when I was when it arrived and then I opened it up I took the unboxing number one something a metal drop down so it's not fixed properly but I uh, managed to fit it back that's okay fine and then number two I noticed that on the wheels there was some soil on it it shows that it has been moved or pushed but I guess that they need to push it into the box all right Okay, never mind about that. And there was some scratches, minor scratches on the handle. It's okay. But then, uh, at the handle of the brake, the scratch is prominent. It's like you, you need to take something to, you know, uh, scratch it, you know. And then also, uh, uh, the hose, the corrugated rubber hose of the front brake it was already torn okay so I asked for replacement for the for the handle the scratch handle of the left hand left hand side brake the corrugated rubber hose the torn corrugated rubber hose and also after charging the after I was set halfway to the cellar and I uh, managed to find a port I started to charge it and that time was around 6 30 in the evening but by by 11 o'clock it's still not yet charged about after five hours still not charged right okay so I hope that you will also uh, watch the video uh, link as given by the seller through the website application it will tell you that uh, this bike require about only four hours of charging for full charge all right so um that was it and then i show you what i can do is that this is the first charge i'm trying to show you all right this one is a uh, second charge. Uh, no second charge. 
Uh, okay, towards the end of the first charge, I took a video to show that it's still charging. Nah? Okay, so by 11, almost 12 o'clock, still not yet charged. Nah? Huh? More than 5 hours already. Nah? And then the second charge, I try to take screen sh take the picture and I try to take screenshot so that I can catch a tongue. You know? So I uh, took it at certain time at six twenty five five uh, what time eh? Yeah. Five thirty eight and then uh, Six and five is after one hour more or less. Uh, after four hours, supposed to be after four hours, still not charged. After eleven zero six five, also still not charged here. Until eleven fifty two, still not yet charged. Yeah, it's already six hours and four minutes, and I stopped charging it because over here in Samba we sleep very early. Our subo is about 5.15 in the morning. So, yeah, of course, la. you know? Yeah. So, um, what I'm not happy was that about the battery, I suspected that it could have been a used battery because I noticed that it was not the same brand. So, uh, it's supposed to be pension as according to the advertisement picture, but it turned out to be Choi Feng Niao in Chinese, you know. So, it does not matter about the brand. The important thing, because for the unit to be functioning, it depends on the main heart, you know. It's just like we, we need the heart to live, right? The heart to beat so that we can breathe in oxygen in and out. For this electric scooter, the heart, the main heart is the battery. So I suspect that the battery could have been a used one or a faulty one. And towards the chat uh, during the dispute, he mentioned that it could be the charger that is at fault. But I don't think it's the charger. I think it is the battery. Whatever it is, then I eventually added that I would like replacement for the four things, number one. Is the battery. I want a new unused battery which is can be charged within four hours. The electric charger, which I think is not necessary because I think the fault is at the battery. The corrugated rubber hose, the manual, which is very important because for electrical item it's very important for us to have the manual. You know, we don't want to be electrocuted. And if you read my chat with him on the Shopee application from the very beginning, I asked if he will send the manual and he said yes. Okay? And also the the brake. You know the, the handle of the brake that it was scratched. Alright. I love this bike, okay? It is uh, I mean it moves well. Uh, it doesn't go up to 40 kilometers as advertised. It's about uh, above 30 kilometers. Maybe when it comes with a battery which is fully charged already. I haven't brought it for the second round after the second charge. Okay, so um, I, I would say that, uh, you know, I, I admire this bike and I love it and I uh, I know people admire it and they've been asking me and I, I, get, I told them that, you know, I bought it on Shopee. So, uh, that was it. Huh? I'm, I'm not uh, biased towards any anything, you know. So, what I requested was uh, at least, at least, you know, um, giving a good heart to start with. Lah. Don't give me a used battery. Lah. That's what I mean. Give me a brand new uh, battery which is supposed to be chargeable within four hours. La. You know? So, um, if he refuses to, then uh, I would uh, prefer a claim of uh, a partial refund, a partial refund of about 900 ringgit. Because I check out online if I were to buy new batteries for that set. Well, it costs a certain amount. 
and and also the shipping that we have paid for, three hundred and fifty ringgit, is useless because it was way beyond time, the time of delivery expected, all right, and then uh, also uh, for the the rubber hose and the the you know the damage uh, slightly scratch uh, handle of the left hand side brake. All right. So, um, since if he doesn't want, I don't mind returning fully to get my full refund, provided if you if you arrange a free ship return shipping label for me. But I understand that if we send to Post Laju, they will not accept beyond thirty kilograms, and this item is more than thirty kilograms. All right, and. Otherwise, you make the seller arrange the sh shipping agent to come and pick it up to be returned. But first of all, refund fully me first and then make him come and pick it up. Because uh, I think my, my fear was correct. It was time to arrive very late. But two or three, about five minutes before five o'clock on 15th of January 2021, after Shopee gave the ultimatum that it should be sent by then, by five, right? And then uh, after I've already signed that I've received it, the seller straight away called me and said, oh, you already received the thing. Anyway, I hope that you will listen to all the phone recordings which I also uploaded into Google Drive. My conversation with the seller, the seller called me um, and then insists on me cancelling the return and refund. And then after that, Steffi of Shopee also called me and I spoke to Steffi and asked for time because I need to open up the item. I need to check whether it's function as according to the specification. you right. And I don't want, a, a, how do you say, another freaking out experience like I did for the previous case okay now I'm a genuine buyer when I buy something I really want to buy there must be reason why I buy to be used of course not to be thrown about here I don't want to be treated like a big garbage dump for all the damaged parts or uh, useless or used item you know not that um, Right, I hope that you will go and then after that you listen to the call after Shopee spoke to me and she called in again, the seller called again and then after that I called the seller because there was no manual as promised and how am I going to get the thing fixed and why not so and then she, but she guided me through the WhatsApp and she in fact uh, told me that uh, it would turn green uh, after four hours but that message was deleted eventually by the seller. See? So, you know, I, I hope that uh, you look into this point. Okay? So, um, that's all I asked. But I, I, I hope that the seller will be able to send replacement. I mean, take the option number one. Okay? Worst to worst, option number two. Returning, I would only want to return it if I'm fully refunded first. And then only you get them to come and pick it up. Alright, I can I can pack it and they come and pick it up. Because from what I know, actually I've already requested for full return refund as the item was not moving for so long. Oh yes, and you can also uh, listen to the conversation with the courier service, which I've been chasing them. And also, the strange thing was that uh, after I was given the tracking number via the Shopee application, I checked, uh, there was nothing. No, no tracking to be found for the first two days. And then I, I called up, uh, I, uh, and then I was 
I, I was told to call, contact the courier agent. I called him up, and then they check and say they haven't received. And then they say, oh, later they call me back. And yes, okay, they they ready to receive. And then when I check online, the strange thing was that the date was, um, the date of sending was uh, future dated. You know, I think I, I cannot remember. What is I call it on? 13 or 14 like that lah. And then the future date it to the 19th of January. Uh, was it 19th of December or something like that? Okay. Alright. Thank you.